Welcome back, I'm Drone Tech, and just quickly before we get into this clip, I wanted to invite anybody who's interested in gaming to head on over to my Discord server. We've been getting some small groups together to play PUBG, Fortnite, and some VR games as well. We're open to play any games really, and we've been getting together in the evenings, so just hop on over and join us. You can find the link for Discord in the description or pinned comment. And I just want to point out that when I had a conversation with Nils yesterday, he and I asked him and said, you know, some are saying that you're trying to censor Joe Rogan. He's very clear. He believes in the First Amendment. He believes that Joe Rogan and anybody else has a First Amendment right to say whatever they want. He says he doesn't want his music, his artistry associated with the platform that would allow Mr. Does he say but he did it with the express purpose of coercing a company to act on behalf of the establishment. A strange thing to do for a pro-free speech, anti-establishment hippie. These people are just unreal. They love free speech, except for when they don't and when a censor points a view that they deem dangerous. And this dangerous always seems to be coming from people that they see as their political opponents. Unless somebody is actively calling for violence, it's a mystery how a podcast that explores different points of view with nuance could possibly be dangerous. Th these musicians are not going to win this battle. Uh, right. You have a First Amendment right to say what you want. You don't have a First Amendment right to appear on a platform as large as Spotify. That's the issue. Joe Rogan is correct that the medical world gets stuff wrong, but there's a process by which the medical world corrects itself, and that process is not interviewing guys on the fringe of the medical world on your massive platform. One way that you can tell that this is all bad faith is that when it comes to science, it's always changing as new data comes in. Science is just a tool after all, not an ideology or a religion. Given this fact, shouldn't these people be a little more careful about flailing around the word misinformation as a justification for censorship? All right, folks, like I always say, I'm not an expert or a doctor and you should never get medical advice from me, nor would I ever give it. I don't talk about COVID a lot because I simply don't talk about things I don't know about. But I am going to raise some questions here and I will cite my sources in the description. For example, that the main place you get COVID is from surfaces. And we saw this insane push to get everybody slathering their hands in sanitizer. It turns out that's not really the case. Cloth masks. Many of the people that were raising questions about the effectiveness of cloth masks were censored for spreading misinformation. The point is, labeling everything you don't want to hear misinformation can actually stifle the truth. We're going to keep digging into this clip, but first, a quick message from PatriotSwitch.com. We all know how the big box stores were allowed to stay open through all of this, while the little guys, small business owners, regular people were forced to stay closed. The wealthiest people in human history got wealthier, while mom and pop suffered. The question is, what are we willing to do about it? How can our voices be heard? We vote with our money. That's how we make a difference. No more shopping at big box stores with products that are stuck on cargo ships. PatriotSwitch.com helps Patriots get away from the big box stores forever. What if a whole bunch of us just banded together and walked away? We can shop Factory Direct at a family-owned, Patriot-owned, made-in-America manufacturer. That's exactly why Patriot Switch was created, with regular people like you and me in mind. We can finally stop shopping at these big box stores and take market share away from these companies that don't share our values and transfer those dollars to family-owned companies for the future of our country. PatriotSwitch.com. Check it out. <coughs> By the way, Joe Rogan does have pro-vaccine voices on his show, like Sanjay Gupta, but you'll never see these people talk about that. That's called irresponsible. It's not yeah. censorship. Right. Editors are not censors. They're ensuring quality. The other problem, too, is people say, well, just turn it off. You don't have to listen to it. The thing is, a lot of people do listen to it, and they're getting false incorrect information and that's why it seems so dangerous um excuse me but based on this standard cbs is constantly allowing the spread of misinformation seriously just two weeks ago this exact same group spread misinformation by claiming volcano eruptions are caused by climate change which is as far as i can tell misinformation yeah. talk about climate change quite yes. a bit and yep. these stories are a harsh reality of what we're going through and we have to do our part because these are more frequent. Yes, yeah, and if you're on the West Coast, the clock is ticking on the big yeah. one. People yeah. are worried, I mean. Oh yeah, just look at the confidence in that face. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I can see how free speech could be dangerous. Like right now, we're watching this so-called news network, which relies on free speech to operate and is supposed to be a check on power to protect those kind of natural rights, but is instead using its power to suppress speech that it doesn't like. 
which to me is a threat against our rights and thus dangerous. But there's no doubt in my mind that if someone were to present them this argument, which of course they would never allow, they would have a rationalized excuse ready to explain why it's different when they do it. If you're watching this and you're yelling at your screen, yeah, but drone tag, this is just one mistake. CBS doesn't regularly spread misinformation. Well, even if that were true, Joe Rogan doesn't regularly or intentionally spread misinformation either. However, CBS and CBS News do regularly spread misinformation. For example, just think of all the riots outlets like CBS caused by omitting crucial police shooting facts. Jacob Blake, for example, who we now know was a legitimate threat and police did the right thing. There was no need for riots, but CBS's misinformation helped lead to it. It also led to Kyle Rittenhouse defending himself from rioters, but you would have never known that if you watched CBS, who knowingly spread misinformation about what had actually happened in that incident. The same goes for Michael Brown and CBS's insistence on popularizing a myth in order to drive left-wing activism and riots. And while the accusations rang from coast to coast to Capitol Hill, the apology bandwagon wagon is moving slow and silent. The conservative media research center finds that NBC, ABC, and CBS mentioned hands up, don't shoot a combined 140 times. On this topic in general, CBS regularly misleads by omitting inconvenient data and cherry picking stories to fit a narrative, which is probably why so many left-wing Democrat Americans have been manipulated into believing such inflated stats like these. So my point here is that CBS are a bunch of pathetic lying hacks who get an F for lacking any semblance of self-awareness that their ridiculous justifications for censorship could easily be applied to their misinformed asses. All right, that's it for this one. As always, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, and leave a comment to let us know what you think.